Check this out. My father always said, you know, you're real friends when it comes to two things, money and women. You ain't never lie. You ain't never lie. That's why after you loaned your homeboy a couple dollars, you never heard from him again. You shade tree nigga. Because he didn't value the friendship. He valued what he could get from you. Y'all know that to be true. Ain't proof that those guys that call themselves your friend gonna be the ones that plot on you in the end. Be careful when you bring your homeboys around your girl. Most of them are just waiting for the opportunity for you to mess up and for them to slide right in. How did you come to that point though? After uh, a brawl got flipped by the homies. <laughs> when you let niggas around you, they don't want theirs, they want yours. Sometimes our success in life will depend on our ability to identify and eliminate snakes. Real talk. If you found out that your wife cheated on you, not take her back. We're getting pumped and dumped, hit and quit, ejaculated and evacuated. Oh well, she thought she could do better. <laughs> Somebody done told you wrong. Like they all do. That's why they leave. So I will tell you, gentlemen, live in the future, not the past. The reason why you don't want to take her back is because love that you feel for your wife, the time that you spent with your wife, the things that you've built with your wife, does not compare the pain, anxiety, depression, the always questioning yourself, lingering thoughts, fear, and the worry of if she's going to do it again. You ain't got to explain nothing to me. It is not worth what you're getting ready to experience if you decide to forgive your wife. For real, for real. You put yourself in a lower position when you take back a woman who has stepped out on you in that nature. I say all women cheat, but it hurts worse when it's your wife. But if you take back this woman, it can be six months from now, it can be a year from now, it can be two years from now. You will regret it and she will do it again. I promise you. These hoes ain't loyal. I'm like, why would I even want that? You're bringing me troubles if I even date you. I think that's so wrong that you shouldn't be out here just giving it away freely. I think that in order to be a high value woman, you can't be a promiscuous woman. She didn't lie. I think that high value means exclusivity, and exclusivity means everyone can't get it. Especially if you have children. You're trying to okay being loose with your vagina? When was that ever a thing? Good question. Because now I got to date you and 99 niggas is in my inbox talking about some I hit her, I did this, I did that, because they don't show you any respect. I'm not the jealous type. I'm the one to be respected type. For yourself any respect, and now I got to deal with the disrespect you just brought. No disrespect tolerance. Bring the gift of chastity, offer that to your spouse. Say it again. Bring the gift of chastity, offer that to your spouse. And you are bringing the best possibility of having a beautiful, fruitful marriage for many years. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow. And y'all be good. <laughs>